Hey guys, this is Melissa from the House of Plaid Fuzz, and today we are going to do a flip through of my 2017-2018 Erin Condren Life Planner. If you're new to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any of my new videos, and if you're not, welcome back. Um, I will apologize in advance a little bit for my voice. I was at the dentist this morning, um, so half of my face is numb. Uh, my allergies are terrible, so I'm stuffy, so it is what it is, and my nails look terrible, and I ripped a fingernail off. Anyway, it's just kind of a hot mess here, but I thought it would be kind of fun to go through. This is my last week in this planner before I switch into my new planner, which I already did a video of, and I will link that at the top here. Um, but anyway, I thought it would just be kind of fun to flip through and see how I used this planner last year um, and just kind of how my style has evolved. So this cover was from, I believe it was like the winter seasonal surprise box, um, the denim box that no one was too excited about, but um, I always think it's fun to get new covers. So, um, oh, my coil's kind of hooked up there. Okay, I didn't do anything here. Um, I'm kind of curious to get the new fine dry erase markers. I might use that a little more, but I've just never really utilized this space. Um, I always intended to make a name sticker to put here. Obviously that didn't happen, so there's that. Um, I didn't do anything with this calendar. Um, didn't do anything with these pages. Didn't do anything with this page. Um, July here was not super decorative. I used some Erin Condren stickers. This was when I was still in the salon, so I was writing like my appointments on these pages. Um, I made this habit tracker. Um, I was using a little washi, just a lot of the Erin Condren stickers here. Um, this was when I got into the gray dual tip marker. I was really into that for a while. Um, these are pretty much all Erin Condren stickers again. This was the sticker kit from the summer seasonal surprise box, which was my absolute favorite. That might be my favorite seasonal surprise box ever. Um, and then I was tracking like our meals down here um, and still with the gray pen. Um, I had cut that in half so I could get two weeks out of it. Um, nothing too exciting. More Erin Condren kits. I was on a kick for a while buying the Erin Condren um, sticker sheets and like some of these stickers I made. Um, I was tracking one of my side hustles here. Still wasn't using this page. Uh, real basic on my monthly again. More Erin Condren sticker sets. Um, and in here was where I started tracking like my husband and daughter's work schedules. Um, Still wasn't using this in September. This was where I started using the Planner Kate monthly kits, um, which I still use. I love those. I just think it, I don't know, it adds a lot to that monthly view. Um, and this is another Erin Condren kit. Um, I was, you know, pretty functional here. This was a Planner Kate kit. I love that purple. It's so pretty. Um, another Planner Kate mini kit. Started kind of using it here, doing some monthly um, tasks. Another Planner Kate kit. More Planner Kate. Apparently this is when I really started getting into Planner Kate. Um, I was still working at this point. This is an Erin Condren. Um, sticker sheet. Planner Kate. Erin Condren, and I mean, you can see, like, not a lot has really changed here, I, and this is kind of still how I plan, it's just, you know, a lot of pen with some stickers, didn't use this, um, November, I'm still keeping track of appointments here, this is the month where I quit working, um, I don't always decorate for holidays, but I did a Halloween kit here, which is cute, another Erin Condren kit, must have gotten a Erin uh, Condren order in. This was one that came in a seasonal surprise box. This must have been the fall one, which I also really liked. Um, it's that pretty gold foil. Uh, this was a kit I made um, and kind of screwed up. <laughs> I wasn't using this page again. Um, I also made this kit and totally screwed it up the spacing on the days. This is why I just buy them. Is <laughs> It's just much easier. Um, just some plain washi here and kind of piecing together. This was when I moved briefly into a traveler's notebook. Um, and here is just totally pen, very functional. 
um, mostly pen again. Uh, this is the week of Christmas. I actually did a little memory keeping in here versus forward planning. Um, this is when I thought I was going to switch over to this being like my blog and YouTube planner. Um, I was kind of keeping track of like my subscriptions. Um, I just really wasn't using this a whole lot. As you can see, I've got some totally blank weeks in here. This was, like I said, when I was in um, a traveler's notebook. Um, here I started doing some monthly tasks, tracking debt repayment, back with a Planner Kate kit. Um, and this is really where I start. this started becoming more functional for me. Um, tracking appointments, tracking, you know, I changed the filter, softener salt, things like that. Um, I experimented with this little habit tracker drawn in here. Um, this keeping track of like my blood sugar readings, some simply gilded washi. Um, I was doing some meal planning here. Um, this is where I started getting into the Erin Condren um, habit tracker sticker. Um, I actually, what I did was I repeated these so I can cut the sticker in half, um, but just wasn't even paying attention and stuck the whole sticker in here. So there is that. Um, really, I think this sticker sheet is only like $5 and this is in February. Um, and I just used my last one this week, so that lasted quite a while. Um, and you can see here I'm still doing like the monthly tasks, another Planner Kate kit for March, um, keeping track of like bathing my dogs and putting their front line on them, things of that nature. I kind of, I always flirt with tracking the weather, but I live in the Midwest and it changes frequently enough that it's kind of hard to you know, write it out a week ahead of time. By the time you get to that day, it's probably not what it was forecasted to be. Um, and these, again, are just a mix of Erin Condren stickers and Planner Kate. This is probably my absolute favorite Planner Kate mini kit. This is like the winter or something, winter roses or winter flowers or something. I just, I love the colors and that is so pretty. And again, this is April, tracking some monthly stuff. I have a kit. A simply gilded bow here. Um, this is another Planner Kate mini kit. And then just some washi, another kit. You get, and you can see I kind of do that. And this is where I started um, like keeping track of my husband and daughter's schedules down here and just highlighting it like with my mild liners. Um, these are some more Planner Kate kits. Uh, apparently, I did not track anything in May. Uh, another Planner Kate kit. And just some washi. You can always tell like when I get an order and when I'm just like mishmashing stuff together. Um, this was a lot of pen. I'm just kind of using some stuff up. June, just where we are at now the last month in this planner um, and I'm just kind of I'm trying not to use my good stuff this month because I want to kind of save it for my new planner um, but this has just been kind of a mishmash of leftover planner Kate stickers um, some Erin Condren stickers and just kind of whatever I have on hand it's not real matchy matchy but I think it's been fairly functional and here is this week um, this is my last week in this planner um, and this is just some random washi I had um, these are like Planner Kate stickers. I've got the Erin Condren Habit Tracker. This is Erin Condren. And again, I'm just tracking things with my mild liners here. Um, this was just a random sticker out of something I got at Hobby Lobby. So, um, and as you can see, I have the painted petals bookmark here. I will, when I get into my new planner, I'm going to start using the Woven Wonder. I ordered those. So there's July empty and I won't be using it in this planner. Um, as far as my notes pages, I did a lot of like business info, affiliates. Um, here's something I can show you. Uh, I did kind of a wish list of bigger purchases or just things I wanted to buy. I find it like helpful to write it down. So then I can kind of think about, okay, do I really want to buy that and just cross things off. And as you can see, I've gotten a lot of these. Um, not everything. We still haven't replaced the carpet or put in a new fence it's household and then for kitchen. Um, we still need to replace the light fixtures and do something with the backsplash. But um, that's been kind of nice to look back and see like what we've accomplished this year. Um, and then really I just didn't use like the coloring pages or anything like that back here. Um, and then there's the folder. I don't even have my um, clear pouch in here. So, and I did put a 
pen loop in this planner and never really used it. So there you have it. There's just a quick flip through of my planner from last year. Stay tuned because hopefully this week I will get a video up about how I am utilizing the note pages in my new planner. I got a lot of great ideas um, from some of you um, and I plan on it being a lot more functional this year. So check out my social media links below. Uh, make sure you follow me on Instagram. Uh, you can see a lot of sneak peeks and just kind of day to day what's going on. So thanks so much for watching guys. I will catch you next time.